So last month I did a Gregalog about a study that says liberals and atheists are more likely to be intelligent because they have values that are evolutionarily novel. At least that's what the st I think the study said. I'm a conservative, so I really don't understand all those big words. Mm. Joining us now is the author of that study and red-eye fan, Dr. Satoshi Kanazawa. Got it right, didn't I? He's an evolutionary psychologist at the London School of Economics and Political Science. Whatever that means. Hey, Dr. K uh, Kanazawa, first of all, describe exactly what you, uh, what, what you say your study showed. My study shows that uh, liberals are more intelligent than conservatives, mm -hmm. just like atheists more intelligent than the religious, because more intelligent people tend to adopt evolutionarily novel values that mm -hmm. our ancestors didn't have. Mm -hmm. My claim is that it is more natural for humans to be conservative, it is more natural for humans to believe in God, and therefore more intelligent people go against the violatory design uh. and become liberals or atheists. All right, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. <laughs> and I'm going to have to ask you to enter my new office because that's great, great theory. No, i got to tell you something. Look, look, now that Bill is opening his disgusting mouth, okay, he's a liberal, and you're saying that, uh, that liberals tend to take more risks. This guy takes risks every day with his body. That can't make him smarter. It just makes him more polluted. Uh, first of all, I, 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 this is the, the misconception that I would dispel. Yeah, I don't want to yeah. equate intelligence with being smart. Oh. So, so my, study does, my study does show liberals more intelligent, but it doesn't mean that liberals are smarter. And I, I, I think it's the opposite. I think liberals are stupider than conservatives. Mm. But, but wow. intelligence means ability mm. to think and reason, and uh, liberals do have that. Hey, that's cake, eat it too. <laughs> Pick a conclusion. <laughs> no, but that's, 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 that's the, the whole idea of why you see like these grad students sitting in, in, yeah. in, in, in uh, uh, Starbucks doing yeah. absolutely nothing but talk about Che Guevara, that somehow their IQ points may be higher, but there's yeah. a guy on Wall Street who's making a ton of money who's really smart. To me, being smart is about having common sense. Mm -hmm. And it, common sense is also evolutionarily familiar, so that means that more intelligent people are more likely to reject common sense, which we're designed to have. Ah, if so my dealer gives me a two-for-one on an eight ball, it is common sense that I say yes <laughs> to that. I don't know if that's risk-taking, I don't know what that is, but you're talking about a $60 savings But right you know there. what's worse? It's more about selfishness, because you didn't even tell me about that deal. <laughs> well, I'm telling you now, it's already done. See, that's smart! <laughs> I tell him after I'm done. Uh, yes. He's such a jerk. <laughs> um, uh, okay, according to your theory, more intelligent men are more likely than dumber men to value Less monogamy. Yeah. Why is that? Once again, humans have been naturally polygynous throughout evolutionary history, so men have always had multiple mates, whereas women have mostly had one mate um, in, in evolutionary history, which means that it is natural for men to have multiple mates, whereas it is, it is, not, it is natural for women to have one mate, which means that more intelligent men are more likely to go against that biological design and, and focus on one mate. Because oh, women so are smarter. So that that's means, why I should yeah. be a liberal. <laughs> that, means, that means that, like, on a scale of one to baby Huey, how dumb is Tiger Woods? <laughs> like, uh, out of any of the philandering. Once again, my study is only about values. I, it doesn't say more intelligent men are less likely to cheat. More intelligent men uh, are more okay. likely to more likely to value not cheating, but that doesn't mean they don't actually do that. Uh, whether or not men cheat has more to do with what women want, not yeah. what men want. Well, then that, that's where Bill runs into no problem, because women don't want to cheat with him. <laughs> uh, the desire is there. The desire is there, but they say just don't want to. Oh, I got well, time for one last question. Uh, you did an earlier study that showed that more intelligent people are nocturnal. Right. Now, TV's Andy Levy, our halftime guy, he basically sleeps all day and is up all night. So is he the smartest person ever, or just a sad, sickly little man? Probably more intelligent than most people. Because because once yeah. again, ah. once again, it is natural for humans to get up at sunrise and go to bed at, at sundown mm. because we didn't have humans didn't have an, uh, um, artificial means of illumination. Mm. So it's it's unnatural for humans to stay up late at night, and therefore more intelligent people are more likely to do it. Dr. Kondosawa, by saying Andy Levy is smart, you have the, just rescinded any option to come back on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> Dr. Kanazawa, I, I'm so happy when I say his name. Satoshi, <laughs> pleasure having you on the show. Enjoy the city. Exactly. Stay away from Bill. He's going to try to take you out and do something nasty. <laughs> <laughs> we'll close it. You're just as tight. We'll close it out with the post-game wrap-up for TV.